afterwards from the point of entry? There are a lot of different uh, reactions. Some people were were laying there. Um, some people were crying. Some people were screaming. I mean, just it, pretty much everything you can imagine. This is the IRC building, and it's going to be Officer. Um, the fact that Detective uh, or Corporal Mike Ernest had said as we we're going in, this is real. It immediately hit home that this is not a training drill, and. Um, at that point, we just wanted to stop any threat towards any human life at that point. And what your thoughts were as you got inside. And if you could say your name, please, before you speak. Yeah, we uh, first first arrived on scene and uh, overheard the radio traffic and initially met up with the San Bernardino officer because we didn't have radio communication. Um, <clears throat> he was broadcasting information to us, relaying that info um, so that we can make our decisions. And as we went up, one of the things that went through my mind was, do we just stumble into a San Bernardino PD active shooter or critical incident? And I remember thinking, is there threats? And I'm looking for training signs, which is typical what we do in a, in a large scale operation is put out training signs so that everybody knows. I didn't see any training signs. And then as we made the left turn to go towards the front of the building on the on the east side that's when uh, first encountered uh, the first down victims that uh, that really was a defining moment at that point and realized that this is not training our seat building as well as the um, you know all of the radio traffic I didn't get it from the beginning I got it when deputy Whalen from Rancho Cucamonga told me he was, had shots being fired at him from the suspect vehicle. <clears throat> I just tried to keep radio contact with him as best as I could. That's all I can say. I'm just glad everybody's okay. Was there any point where you lost? mentioned um, working together being from different groups. When you come into a situation like that, where you're trying to... Um, I saw a Deputy uh, Wallen from the Sheriff's Department uh, was uh, a ways ahead of me and looked to be the closest to the uh, suspect's vehicle. Uh, after exchanging gunfire with the male, um, I, uh, I was trying to get to Deputy Wallen and trying to bring him back to cover. Um, and as... Uh, as I was running up to the corner, uh, I was struck in the left thigh. Um, I was trying to get to Deputy Wallen to bring him back to me to get to that cover, though, at that time. That was a close call. Okay. You good? You good? 